Meanwhile, the management of the COVID-19 pandemic requires a multifaceted approach and multi-sectoral involvement. The government of St. Lucia, recognizing this necessity, ensured that the National COVID-19 Management Center was comprised of professionals and representatives from a societal cross-section. The entity is responsible for advising the government on the best strategy for the management of the pandemic. During an appearance on Issues and Answers aired on the national television network NTN, Chairman Cletus Springer explained that his background in epidemiological analysis plays a major role in fulfilling the requirements of the position. My role is to um, examine the intersection of epidemiology right, and, and the strategy that is needed to combat this. So my focus is on where the hotspots right, of infections. Um, what is happening there relative to the movement of people from that point to other points? Um, is there a link between the infections in, in, in the transportation system, right, from the hot points to other points? You know, these kinds of, of, of considerations are what I bring to the, to, 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 to the table. So it's my planning background, strategic planning, my communications, and my knowledge of the public service and my, my understanding of the people of Lucia. The center's chairman in providing insight into the decision-making processes of the center highlighted the significance of protocols to maintaining low COVID-19 positivity rates. If you're seeing a trend that says to you, if that trend continues, your capacity to cope will be overwhelmed. Right? You, your, your bed space in the hospitals, your intensive care capabilities, your availability of nurses, your availability of doctors, the ability of the government to, to, to buy oxygen, you know, and all of the treatments that are required for it. If you see that trend, you are under an obligation to do something. In a, trend, in a situation like that, doing nothing is not an option. Now, where all of the, the, the tensions arise is what is the something you, you must do and, and how effective that is. And people have their own views on how effective confinements, um, which is not a nice term, but um, how effective these, these are. Um, in our case, I think the data is very clear. At the peak of our, of our fourth wave, um, in the fourth wave, I think we, we had about 7,000, just over 7,000 cases. In the third wave, we had about 5,000. So it's very clear that the, the fourth wave has, has been far more severe than the third. But we're in a situation now where from that peak of about seven cases, 7,000 cases, we are now down to um, just about 350 active cases, okay? Now you, you, you might argue, what has brought this about? Is it the lockdowns? Is it the, 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 the confinement? Is it people's strong adherence to the, to, the, to, the, to the protocols. It could be any or all of these. But the fact is, we have now a situation that is more manageable than we had before. Another important factor in the management of the pandemic, Mr. Springer noted, is vaccination. He indicated that the country's low inoculation rates may be as a result of conflicting schedules and inadequate ease of access, an issue he said the COVID-19 Management Center is working to address. 